around the world. This is all at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. It is a new exhibit opening today. This is so much fun. So Chris is here, a director of collections, and then Nathan is here as well. You're one of the guides yes. at the new exhibition. Mm -hmm. Super cool. So let's, first things first, let's talk about what this is and where the idea came from. This is a special exhibit that the museum has developed called Sacred Places. Sacred Places. So it looks at religious and spiritual traditions around the world and in our neighborhood. Okay. And the whole purpose is to understand better what our neighbors believe so that mm -hmm. we can better respect each other. That's interesting. I like the idea. Where, where, where did it come from or how did it get started? Well, I think now maybe more than ever we yeah. need to understand today, each other's right? traditions and uh, respect what each other believe, uh, why we do the things we do and uh, be able to support those. So we yeah. do that by looking at the objects, the, the way people feel about the places that they live um, and uh, to hear those stories from the people who actually live in those places mm -hmm. and experience those sacred places. Well, I would think just a better understanding of each other. You know, that's really what it's all about. And I'm curious as a guide, what is this like for you? What can we expect? No, definitely. Um, you can expect to learn a little bit more about our cultures, the traditions, where we come from. That, I think that's the most important part, yeah. that you can really learn where we're coming from, all the traditions there. Um, the different islands, countries, Curacao, Nepal, mm -hmm. Chile. It's not names that you hear often. No. So I, I hope that this can inspire people to learn more about them and get curious about it. I think so too. Have you had a response so far? I know it opens today, but for people who perhaps have been a part of it or who know about it, what have you heard? Well, so far, uh, the response has been really great. Uh, we've had the opportunity to bring some of the guides, yeah. some of the people that we've interviewed and have helped to develop the exhibit here. One of the really exciting things is seeing people like Nathan, who's from Curacao, yeah. meet folks from, uh, from Thailand and from Jordan, and uh, to learn about each other's experiences, mm -hmm. to see them showing each other their sacred places and learning from each other, which is exactly what we hope our visitors will do Absolutely. at the museum. Absolutely. Well, I mean, because being, I think, the biggest children's museum in the world, I mean, you get people, I would imagine, every year from all over. Who, and, and that's really important. And representing all different traditions. And so we want people to see themselves in the museum. Like we also that. want them to see something, a tradition maybe that they're not familiar yeah. with. Nathan, uh, it also seems like, and this is one of the things I love about this museum, hands-on activities. It's not just a, les a lesson. You're able to touch and feel and really get involved. Definitely, yeah. You can, um, especially with um, in my exhibition, you can walk around, you can feel the pillars, yeah. see the texture of it, walk around, see the sand that's on the ground. So it's really awesome. You guys do such a wonderful job. There's so much detail that goes into all of this for sure. So thank you so much for bringing it to us and allowing us to be a small part of it today, opening today. Yes, love that. Uh, 4 o'clock today. Uh, Six dollar special admission price. Oh, nice! Um, opened till April seventh. So that's what I was wondering. Till April seventh, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here yes, and for doing you. what you do. We appreciate it.